You've just heard some of the most feared words a doctor could ever tell you. You have cancer. Now you're facing a difficult course of treatment, probably surgery, perhaps chemotherapy, radiation. You're already fearing what's ahead. That's why so many people say that the cure is almost as bad as the disease. We can't make the side effects go away, but we can make them easier to bear. That's why the Helen Sawaya Fund was created. The fund was created by Dr. Gabriel Serra and Fouad Sawaya to honor his wife who passed away from cancer. Well, Helen was a patient of mine and a friend of mine. After Helen passed, he wanted to do something in her, for her legacy. Our caregivers and physicians offer many therapies to combat those possible side effects. The healing approaches include music, massage, art, and pet therapy, as well as beauty tips and a travel program. These are provided to the patients free of charge thanks to the fund, and the results are nothing short of amazing. We start the chemo, and they forget they are on chemo many times. So that already kills completely that anxiety, that tension, and they end up coming next time, knowing they're coming to see some friends. Possibly the most anxiety-producing part of cancer treatment is chemotherapy. It's given in what doctors call the infusion suite. Thanks to the Helen Sawaya Fund, you will often be welcomed by the sound of live music. Music therapy serves as both a coping mechanism and as an aid to relaxation during treatment. I think the tempo of the music is very calming. It's very soothing. It kind of relaxes me. It takes my mind off what's happening in real life. This is an environment where anxiety can be really high. There have been a number of clinical studies done that have proven that music therapy reduces anxiety in patients. Patient-created art welcomes you to the infusion suite and helps to create a visually appealing, warm environment. Yeah, I'll probably cut out these things. I firmly believe <laughs> that art transforms the whole, the whole environment, turns the whole atmosphere into something playful. It absolutely takes my mind off the ding, ding, ding of the monitors. So the four hours that I'm in here on Wednesday mornings just, you know, flies right by. The therapeutic benefits of pet therapy are widely recognized. The patient's attention shifts from treatment to interaction with the dog, which is a perfect diversion while undergoing treatment. Whatever has been happening today, whatever decisions are being made, whatever results on the last CAT scan, you kind of forget about it, and you just enjoy being with the pet. Some people have told us that it makes them feel very relaxed, that it's a really nice change from the medical atmosphere and it's a welcome distraction. Anyone who's ever had a massage knows the stress relief it brings. And who needs that more than a cancer patient? More than 100 patients a week receive massage therapy through the Helen Sawaya Fund. Often is a motherly like touch, which you know when you're going through a stressful time, having somebody hold your hands is wonderful. What you're there for sort of leaves your mind. You're not thinking really about what's going on. It's wonderful. Thank you. You can feel the excitement in the infusion suite. That's because it's time again for the travel raffle. Every couple of months, there is a Laura's Journeys drawing that gives patients an adventure to look forward to while they're undergoing cancer treatment. Ramon Rivera. My friend Luann went, Joanne, you won! Joanne, you won! When Laura was being treated, we, we determined that we were going to travel extensively. This was just a way to keep her legacy alive. The moment of hearing that I won a cruise, you know, it gave me so much hope. It rejuvenates you and you just come back feeling great about yourself. One of the most popular services provided by the Helen Sawaya Fund is known as Cleopatra's Touch. It offers patients the services of an upscale New York beauty salon. They're treated to makeovers, hair and wig styling, and other tips designed specifically for cancer patients. The goal is to provide a woman a chance to restore their body image and self-esteem. So I try to make it natural the way she had it before her hair fell off. 
I think La Better Stash is a great program. If you have this little moment to feel better, I think that's that's really, really good. I really appreciate what she's doing here. Yeah, and it looks very natural. You can't underestimate the impact that the programs that are supportive to the emotional aspects of the patient. There is no money in the regular healthcare system to support that kind of activity. I see the difference in people's life every single day and I know that it can never go away anymore. It's going to be here to stay and we're expanding it and I just hope that it's going to be a pilot model for every hospital that treats cancer patients. Ellen Sawaya's spirit permeates the halls of St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital. The fund fosters a familial feeling of love, warmth, caring and support. There's an undeniable and profound impact from the various therapies. Every day there are small miracles from shared experiences. Many, including Lance Armstrong, have praised the program supported by the Helen Sawaya Fund and think they should be replicated across the country. Please join us.